Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Man View. Let's talk about the Ryobi 20 inch battery powered lawnmower. I recommended this lawnmower to a bunch of friends and I absolutely love it. However, over the last two or three seasons, I noticed that when I started turning the lawnmower or picking it to swivel it or move it in a certain way, it kept shutting off on its own. After doing a lot of research on the internet, I found out there are three switches. Two are safety switches. One is the momentary switch that you can bypass. I'm going to show you how to do that. So your lawnmower doesn't shut off accidentally, um, only when you actually turn it off. So the first one's located here between the body and the handle. The second switch I'm going to show you how to bypass is the momentary button. And the third one is the on-off switch which is activated by pulling those that gray handle down so i'm going to show you how to bypass all three of these so your lawnmower doesn't accidentally or just consistently shut off every time you pick it up to swivel it or turn it in a certain direction so the first thing we're going to look at is the sw bypassing the safety switch between the handle and the body of the lawnmower the second um, videos are going to show you how to bypass the safety switch at the top as well as the momentary switch and how to replace those when you're done with these videos and if you replace all three the way i show you here your lawnmower will work perfectly you'll be able to turn it on and off and won't have any issues with it um, just stalling out or dying every time you try to use it so let's get started let's take a look at how we change or bypass the safety switch between the body of the lawnmower and the handle out, Gibson. Make sure your lawnmower is in the highest position. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take out these screws. So you're going to need a T20, T30, and a T40. I'm going to take these out and get to the switch. I'll come back to that in a second after I take these three screws off. So underneath here, you're going to see this is the safety switch, which apparently is the problem. And underneath it, is the hookup to it so we're going to disconnect that and join those two cables together okay so let me pop this off so what I did was I put the uh, piece of the tin the metal I should say into it and then I'm going to bend it and put it into this one so this is going to bypass it and create a loop um, it's a very low voltage you're not going to get electrocuted or anything like that Okay, so what I did is I just used the needle nose to really bend the safety, that piece of metal I was using in there. See, there it is. I just bent it, put the two clips together, squeezed them, and what I'll do is I'll test it with the battery first, make sure it works, and then if it's good, electrical tape it up, tuck it back in, and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that really Gibson. So as you can see, there's my safety switch bypass, and I threw the battery in it, okay, battery in it, and let's just see if it works. If it gets in, you have to move out of the way, huh. all right, let's just test it, make sure it works first, so I do this while holding the phone, push the button in. So I know that it works, everything's fine. So all I'm gonna do right now is just duct, uh, not duct tape it, <laughs> electrical tape it, and then put the brackets back on and we should be ready to go. Okay guys, so as you saw in the last video, I replaced the switch down here, that, uh, that crappy plastic safety switch. So when you, pick the lawnmower up to go to turn it left or right, it won't cut out on you. So that was a quick bypass. It was in the other video over here. However, there are two other safety um, buttons or switches that also are made out of that same crappy plastic button that seemed to cut in and cut out. So I'm replacing all the safety switches. So within the handle here in the housing, this housing that goes across the whole lawnmower on this side, there's a safety switch there, and there is a on-off button 
uh, momentary button that you just push in and out and start it. So essentially what you have to do is you have to pull this handle that back, push that button and the lawnmower starts. Well, that's not working that great because again, the button in here and the button in here for this handle isn't making a good connection. So I'm going to bypass those just like we did the one down here. And I'm going to do that with these switches here. So what I did was I just bought a on off switch from um, on Amazon. I think I got it for like two or three dollars. And then I have the quick release um, button, which will replace the gray button here. And the toggle button will replace what this bar does here, which is the switch inside here. So I'm going to open this up, show you what those look like, and I'll be back in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the toggle switch. I'm going to use this guy here. He's going to replace that guy and the quick on off button that pops in and out. That's going to replace this guy here in the middle, which is where the gray button was. So I'm going to cut these wires and I'm going to splice them right onto the ends of this one as well as the ends of that one. Okay guys, so here are the switches. I just took a drill bit and screwed right into the most convenient place I can find on the back of the handle housing. Let me see what that looks like on the back. So there's a switch in there and it wedged in kind of nice. So just take your time and use the drill bit and uh, just make the hole slightly larger and larger and larger till it gets a nice snug fit. And then the same with this one here was I had to cut out a little piece on the side just to let the cables pass through. Doesn't matter if it's a little crooked because I had to break those little fins left and right to fit the switch. So it all fits nice and snug. That's what the end product will look like on the front, which I'm fine with. And then I'll just connect the cables. Okay, guys, so everything's installed, ready to go. I have my battery in. And I have both the kill switch, which is the on-off switch. Again, that acts as the gray pull-down bar. And the momentary switch, which acts as the gray button which obviously is deactivated now, and I don't even have the gray handle in it. I took it off. Okay, so let's see if this works. So basically what I'm gonna do is just as I did before, um, the switch, I'm gonna hold down the monetary button and throw the switch, which would be the same as pulling the handle backwards and letting go. Okay, to turn it off, I just throw the switch, which is the same as letting go of the gray handle, which normally would have just snapped back and turned it off. So, I hope this hack saves you guys at least three or $400 on buying a new lawnmower when every time you keep pushing your lawnmower or you turn it or twist it, it just keeps stalling and going out. So, I showed you how to replace the safety that's down there and bypass it, and I showed you how to replace the safety for the bar as well as the gray switch because they're all plastic they're garbage i don't know why ryobi hasn't gotten that stuff down um yet but uh and i found this hack on youtube I actually found it on a gentleman's site his name was just will w-i-l-l -L. so thank you will give you a shout out for that um i just followed what you did and it worked beautifully so again it's an eight dollar fix takes you about a half hour to do and it should save you three or four hundred dollars on buying a new lawnmower. Take care guys. Thanks for watching. As always, remember, subscribe to the channel, click on it, click on the little bell notification so every time that we put a new video out, you'll get alerted about it. Um, if you have any comments and feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Drop your comments below. If you have any questions about the product, by all means, put it in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. As always, I will put a link to the product so you can click on it go to it read other reviews about it or purchase it if you happen to like it until next time guys watch man view over and over and over again like binge tv